everyone, welcome back to the Stray Kids Dance Tutorials channel. My name is Gabriel and today we'll be finally learning Awkward Silence by Stray Kids. This is a, just a really fun b-side from their I Am Who era back in August. And for this song, there's also a compilation of stays from all over the world lip-syncing to it. Uh, I'll, I'll put that video in the description below so you can check it out. But for today, we'll be learning the pre-chorus and the chorus of Awkward Silence and using the dance practice video as a reference. Okay, so let's start at the pre-chorus. This is during Ian's solo. For this chime, we're going to be following Ian, just because it's his solo and he has some extra hand movements that add to the choreo. We're at the beginning of Ian's solo where he says, oh my gosh, and so basically for this first part, we're going to do kind of like a step kicking motion um, from side to side. So for the feet, for these first few counts, it's going to be so start by kicking your right foot forward, and then come back, and then it's going to kick out to the right, and then back to the middle. Then you repeat with your left foot. So you kick, and you step back, kick up to the side, step back, and then now you do the same thing with your other foot. So left foot kick out, step, kick out, and step, and then one more time with the right foot. And this follows with the counts of 1 and 2 and 3, so it's going to look like 1 and And for me, sometimes at the beginning, I can kind of get mixed up with what way the foot's going. So remember, your right foot kicks forward, and then it kicks out to the right. So it's right, right. And that, hopefully that'll help you figure out which direction to go in. Like that, and then also when your foot is kicking out to the side, then you can kind of tilt your head to the opposite side as well. So when your right foot is kicking out, your head can kind of tilt to the left, and your body is kind of going towards the left to kind of compensate for that. So with the feet and the head tilt, it's one and two and three and four and five and six. So like that, and then with the hands, it's also really easy. So you just have your uh, hands down. And when you do the first kick out to the right side, then your hands will kind of come up in like a what motion, and then they just stay there. And uh, when you kick to the left side, then your hands will come back and then point to the front, like you're pointing to the audience and that hand just stays there for the rest of it. And uh, if it helps, the hands also kind of match with what I am singing. So when he says, oh my gosh, that's when your hands come up like this, and then he's going to say, chai chong bo, and that's when your hand will point to the front. So it's one and, oh my gosh, chai chong bo. So now to put the feet and the head and the arms are together. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three, four and five and six, Okay, and then on six, you kick out and your head is looking to the left, right? So after your right foot kicks out, then on six and, it's going to come back to the middle. And on seven, your left foot is going to kind of kick out, kind of brush the ground and kick out towards the front. And then launch your body a little bit forward, so you scoot forward a little bit on seven and. So it's a six and seven and. And when you do that kick forward, your hand is pointing to the front and just going to both of your hands are going to push towards the front and then bring it back towards your body and kind of end around your eye level because then they'll do the crying motion after that. And after you do the scoot forward and your hands are up, then you kind of want your body to be facing the right a little bit, the right diagonal. So from here it's five and six and seven and like that. And then uh, after this you're going to do crying motion on eight one. So you just put your uh, fist down like you're crying, and then your head goes down as well. And you'll do this twice, so the count for that is 8, 1. And for this little segment, it also matches what I am singing. So, so when your left foot kicks forward and scoots forward, that's one chop. So it's one chop, and then the crying part is un he. So it's uh, one chop un he. All right, so now let's review that big count real quick. So it's five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, one. And so after this, that's when they'll have a formation change. And so we're still following I am, and he's at the front of the line that will form. And so uh, basically what I am does is uh, he'll take three steps. So we're going to do left, 
right, left, then you kind of want to end up with your left foot in the back, kind of pointed out, and then your right foot is in the front. And also end with your right shoulder raised a little bit, so you kind of want to end like this. And then while he takes those three steps, the arms, uh, so we're going from here, the crank part, and then he's going to make a smile with his fingers. So your hands kind of comes in, uh, your fingers are going to cross, and then just draw like a smiley face, and then go down. So your hands will make this smile on two, on three, they're down by your side, and on four, that's when I will grab his belt and get ready for the body rolls. So with the legs and the arms together, from here it's eight, one, two, three, four, and then like that. So you're going to end here on four. And then after this part, then they'll just do uh, four body rolls. And while they do that, the numbers, this is where the numbers kind of come out from the line and make a V kind of. And so basically you'll just body roll down uh, four times. It's main, the, the motion is mainly in your head and your chest, so not as much in your hips. And to explain a body roll real quick, um, it's basically a kind of movement where you're isolating different parts of your body to make a rolling effect. So your head will go forward, and then your upper chest, then your stomach, and then your hips will go back. So it's kind of like uh, making like an S with your body, or like kind of just like waving like that. But you're just going to roll, 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 like this. Uh, so it's four rolls, and then on the last two rolls, so seven and eight, then your hands are going to push down your body like this. And this is only what I am done, because he's this is his solo. So uh, after you come here on four, it's so it's gonna be five, six, seven, eight, like that. Okay, and then let's do that and count real quick as well. So just from eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then after this, this is where the different halves of the formation will go to the different directions. And so this is where we're going to start following Sungmin, and we'll follow him for pretty much the rest of the tutorial. So Sungmin is on the left side of the formation if you're looking at the mirror version. And so basically he's going to raise his left foot up like this uh, with a bent knee, and then while you do that, then his right arm is going to go across his body in a thumbs up position. And while you do this motion as well, your body will lean backward. So for Sungmin, he's going to lean back towards the right. And this is on count one, so it's going to be, after the four body rolls, it's one. And then on two, he's just going to step down, and this part of the song is when Chan starts to sing. And then on three, four, they'll just walk out towards the sides. So for now, we'll just walk to the left. And then on five, six, this is uh, where all of them strike a different pose. So for now, we'll follow Simon's pose. And so he's going to uh, kind of step down this way and his hands are going to do like a flourish like this. Okay, but you can really do any pose that you want to do. So that was one, two, three, four, pose on five. And then you wait here on five and six. And then on uh, seven, eight, then it's, they're going to come back towards the middle to new formation for the course. And so uh, Summon does, he's going to step on seven with his right foot. And then he's going to kind of do like a skipping motion. So he steps with his right foot, and then his left uh, comes up, and you kind of scoot with his right foot, then he'll step with his left. So what that looks like is da, 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 da. So just kind of basically step with the right foot, do a little skip, and then end up towards facing the middle. And then also, if you want, optionally, while someone is skipping, he also kind of throws his hands in. So after he poses, he's just going to skip, and then kind of throw his hands in towards the middle, um, just to, I guess, make it more exciting. So now let's review that eight count as well. So from the body rolls, it's five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Okay? And then uh, we're almost done with the pre chorus. So now this is the going to be the awkward silence part. So you're in your new formation. So just facing the forward at one. Then on two, half of the formation is going to get down on the ground, including Sunmi. And so for now, I'll teach it where you go down on your knees, but if you don't want to go down on the ground, you can just do this part just standing up as well. 
So if you're going to get on the ground, you go down two. So that's one, two. So you go down with your right knees on the ground, your left knees up. And this is on two. And then on three, four, they'll kind of go into the awkward silence pose that they'll hold during the crow sounds. And so you just kind of bring your arms in towards the front. And then your right hand is going to grab your chin. And your uh, left hand is kind of under your elbow. So it's kind of uh, up in the air like this. And then while you do that, then your head is kind of looking up and towards the left. And this is kind of a gradual move. So it goes three, four. So you want to hit here on four. And this is also where Chan sings awkward silence. So the limbs part of awkward silence, that's when you'll hit this pose. Okay, so here on silence, right? And this is three, four. And then on five, six, seven, then you'll just hold this pose while uh, Chan is doing the crow movements in the background. And this is also the three crow sounds, so ka ka ka, five, six, seven. And then after the last crow sound, then on eight, uh, you'll switch and look at the right instead now. And this is where Chang starts to sing his solo line. Plus three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And after you look to the right, then uh, we'll just teach the next small movement of the chorus, just to, because it kind of is a good stopping point. So you're looking at the right side a little bit, and then on one, then your hands will kind of go up and then bring it down. So they come up, their palms face backwards, and then they close down your fists, and your head will look down as well. So it's on eight, it's one. So to do that eight count and the small beginning of the chorus all together, it's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, one. So now let's do the whole pre chorus with counts and then also with 80, 90, and 100% speed music. So we make five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven, eight, one. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the chorus. And so um, after the pull down movement with the hands, then they're just going to stand up. So we're just going to start from the standing up position. And this is the part where Sugman starts his solo. And so the pull down is on one, and then on two, they get up. And then on three, uh, they're all kind of changing formations, and Sugman is still in the middle. And so he does a little pose that we can do as well. So it's kind of just like a V sign, and uh, it's kind of near his face level. And this is on uh, three. And then on four, they'll do a little jump backwards and kind of scoot back. And while they do that, their hands are going to go down their chest um, with their palm is facing towards you. It's going to go down like this. So it's a uh, one, one, two, three, four, like that. And then on the next four counts, this is kind of the uh, Sungman's little footwork part. 
And so uh, basically the feet go like, you're kind of going to go out in, out in with your feet. And so your left foot is going to start out uh, stepping towards the front and your toe is going to be out. And so for me, I kind of focus more on the left foot during this motion because it is hard to coordinate. But for me, I focus more on the left foot's movements. And so for that reason, I'm just going to teach all of the left foot first and then we'll add the right foot onto it. So your left foot is going to kind of do like a swiveling motion. So it's like five and six and seven. And so basically your toe is on the ground and then your heel on the ground and then your toe again. And so that's kind of like the movement in the left foot. And basically the right foot is kind of just complementing that. So your left foot starts in the front and then it's going to kind of come back. And uh, once in the back, then your right foot will step forward. So you just want to kind of think that your feet are always pointing out or they're pointing in. So you start on 5, your, both of your feet are pointing out, now on 5 and, then um, your left foot steps down and your right foot starts to raise up, and then on 6, then uh, your feet are going to be pointing out again, and now your right toe is up here, and your left heel is back here, and then 6 and, uh, we'll kind of step back down, and then 7, then you kind of go back to the movement from before, where your left toe is on the ground and your right foot is pointing out. So it is kind of hard to explain but with some practice you'll hopefully get used to it. Yeah again for me I just focus on the left foot and then I bring my right foot forward and then back. And it's always like an out, in, out, in kind of motion just at separate like levels. So to go very slowly over the feet it's uh, we're gonna go three, four, five, and six, and seven. So kind of like that, basically you just want your feet to go out in, and your right foot steps forward and steps back. And so while we're doing all of that, Sungwin is also doing his pointing motion, and so basically your right hand is going to be out, and your left hand is kind of on your waist or something, and you're going to point three times as you raise your hand. So it's five, six, seven. And so on five, it's kind of like down by your waist, six is by your shoulder, and then on seven, it's raised up all the way. And then the final component to all these movements is your shoulders. So on uh, five, when the first point, uh, his left shoulder is going to go forward, and then on six it goes back, and then on seven it goes forward. So just to do the upper half of your body, so the arms and the shoulder, it's after three, four, and then five, six, seven. So kind of like that, and then to add it with the feet as well, it's three, four, five, six, seven. So that's one of the trickier parts of this choreo that might take some more practice. Um, but for now, we'll just move on. You can definitely you know, repeat that part and practice on your own. So on seven, we're here. Our hand is raised up all the way up. And then uh, seven hand. Then uh, seven is gonna bring his arms in because it's gonna come out again. And so it makes the movement more dramatic. Uh, for go here to here and then uh, out. So seven and, and then this part is during uh, Changmin's quick solo line. And then on eight, then their feet will just gonna jump out like this, and your hands will go out to the right. And when you do this, then your right hand is facing forward, and your left hand is facing back. So like this, and then their head will also kind of look towards the right as well when they do this. And this is eight, and on eight and, they'll bring their hands in and kind of crouch down. And you're facing more towards the front. And then uh, for one, then they're going to face towards the left now, and your feet are kind of pointing towards the left, your knees are kind of bent like this, and then your left hand is going to go to your head like you're looking for something, and your right hand is just like on your back or your waist, like this. So the movement for that looks like eight and one. So now let's go over that first eight count of the chorus. So after the pull on the ground, then you get up, on two, so it's going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one. So we're here on one, and this is where Lino's you know, solo will start. And um, this next part, they all kind of do a little bit differently, but for now, we're just going to basically go onto our left foot, and your body will kind of hit towards the left like this, and your right foot is going to raise up in the back. So it's one, two, and then on three, then we'll step back with the right foot, and then 
your right fist is kind of kind of like turn and go out towards the right. So like this on three, and then on three and your right foot will step in and you're kind of bend over a little bit and your forearms are going to do these rotations towards your body. So we want to go in this direction. So kind of like up towards your face a little bit. So it's three and, and then on four, then the right foot will step out to the right again, but now you're kind of on a lower like level, and your your upper body is kind of more straight up like this, facing the left. And you're still doing these hand rotations. And then on four and, then your right foot just steps back, and you you're kind of putting your arms down. So for the uh, the feet, after we do this, you know, move it to the left, and it's three and four and. So your right foot is kind of stepping with each uh, half beat. So then to review, that's just going to be from here on one. It's one, two, three, four, and. And then this is the uh, part where they kind of do another little sort of like skipping motion a little bit. Now this next part is harder to explain, uh, but basically uh, we'll start with the shoulders actually. You'll, you'll have your hands on your uh, belt like this or just grab your shirt. And then your shoulders are going to rotate with your right. Uh, your right will come up and then back, and then your left will come up and then back. So you're just kind of like rotating your shoulders like this. And this actually does help with the feet movement. So it's a five and six is the count for that. And then while you do that, then on five you'll kind of uh, lightly touch forth with your right foot, and then on five and you bring it back and hop onto it, and then your left foot comes up. And then on six you'll touch forth with your left. And then on 6 and, you actually hop on your right foot again and bring your left foot up. So with the legs only, it's going to look like 5 and 6 and. And then if you put it with the shoulders and the arms, then it'll be 5 and 6 and. So when you rotate your shoulders, it kind of helps you know which foot to bring back. And so on, on 6 and, uh, you're, you hop onto your right foot, right? And you like raise your left foot up. And then they're going to uh, kind of do another move where it's mirrored, depending on which side. For this move specifically, I think it's easier to follow the right side instead of the left side that someone's on. So for now, we'll be kind of following like Felix or someone on the right side. And so because your left foot is up, then it's going to um, step down and you bend your knee and drag your right foot in like this. And so this is for people on the right side of formation. So this is seven, will they do that? And then on eight, then uh, your hand is going to come up and kind of do these like little circles. And when you do that, your head looks up. And uh, that's on eight. So this is on eight, and on eight and, your head comes back down and you bring your arm down. So just for those eight counts, uh, from here, down here on one, it's one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight and. Okay, so now moving on, we're almost done with the chorus. This is going to be where Wujin's solo starts. And so uh, we're here, and then they're going to do another formation change. So they're just kind of just stepping in different directions. So for now, we're just going to step with our right foot, then raise our left knee, then step with the left, and then raise our right knee. So, and then this is just kind of like a fun, you know, movement like that. And then while we do that, when we step, we'll have our elbows come out, and we raise our knee, we'll cross our hands and throw them towards the front. So look like eight and one, two, three, four, like that. And then you want to end up facing the front on the last one. So we just raise our right knee and threw our arms like this. And so because you have to raise your left knee so quickly, um, your right knee is up on four, so you're starting to put it down on four air. So it's four and five, kind of like that. Okay, then right after that, we'll raise our left knee and our right hand is just kind of like go like this across your body and down, and then the same thing on the other side. So right knee goes up, and your left will kind of like this. And this is uh, five, six, so five, six. And then on seven, your left foot will step out towards the side. Your left hand comes out like this, palm forward. And then you're, you're going to have your right hand uh, kind of like you're clapping. But your right hand is going to travel up your arm and then end up at your chest. And uh, as you bring it to your chest, then you kind of uh, come back towards the right as well with your 
with your legs. So it's seven and, and then on eight, then you're uh, basically just kind of pop your like your uh, chest, your right chest forward. And while you do that, some of the members will close their hands into fists, so that's an optional movement as well. So it's seven and eight. And then while you do that, the left knee is going to raise up towards the front like this. So that movement looks like seven and eight. And when your left foot steps down, it's actually going to step behind your body because then they're going to turn towards the left and then face the back. So let's do those eight counts uh, from the head circle. So it's seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, like that. And then moving on to the last eight counts of the chorus. So we're here with our left knees up, and then now it's going to step down behind our body and we're going to turn towards the left and face the back. When we do that, their hands are going to throw them up in the air like this. And so you're, uh, from here, your left foot will step on one, and your right foot steps on two. Okay, and then now your head is facing towards the back, and then on three, then your head will turn to face at the front. Look at the front. Three, and then on four, your head will face the right, so now you're kind of looking straight at the right. And then on five, your head will look at the front again, and your head, your left hand will kind of go towards your um, head in like a confused motion. So kind of like this, and then you can kind of make, you know, silly faces when they do this as well. This is five, and then uh, no, then you'll do two hops on the off beats. So this is where they say like the pop hop part in the lyrics. So see, we have five and six. So you jump on five and, and then on six and. And when they do these little jumps, they're just kind of hopping into new formations. And so for now, we'll just kind of hop so that we face towards the left diagonal like Sunday does. And then just to finish off the chorus, on seven and, then they're going to the, the little gun part. So basically your left hand is raised up and it's pointing towards the ceiling. And then your right hand is going to kind of load the gun. So it's going to come back with your elbow. So it's a really sharp movement. And then um, the next part, they'll kind of throw their arms down and then go towards the ground so that they can do the little like crunchy circle part. But since this is the end of the tutorial, we'll just uh, you know, stay up, standing up. So you just uh, load the gun and then your hand will go out like this. So really quickly, those final eight counts, uh, after here, seven, eight, and then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, so then now let's quickly review the chorus and do all of that with counts, and then with 80, 90, and 100% music. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, and one, two, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. And eight. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7, 8 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. Okay, so now that we've learned both the pre-course and the course for awkward silence, 
Now let's do counts for everything and then put it all together with music as well. So now with counts for everything, including the pre-chorus and the chorus, it's going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, 8, and 1, 2, 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7, and 8. 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7, 8 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7, 8 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, and 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7, and 8. Oh my god, it's so bad. today. Planning on the next tutorial being near, finally, um, but you can check out my Twitter for any updates regarding that. And let's always stay with straight kids, alright?